<coughs> Here he is, walking tackle shop, Jason Horton. <laughs> the most important thing is make sure your rig fits your fish. Okay, um, just look back, yep. So, about there's perfect. This one I uh, grew myself. Start off with the top of the fish, pushing the uh, the chin guard through the top of the fish's head. Yep, now you like rigging them upside down, upside eh? Upside down, they, uh, they swim just as well. And uh, these points go to the harder part of the fish, yep. which helps you when you're on the toe. So, be about there somewhere. Push that through the fish's top of his head. Yep. Now I run these opposite, as I've got it there. It doesn't okay. matter it's one up, one down, but okay. just alternative. Yep. Starting at the front, slip rubber bands. Yeah, nice and easy these rigs. Yeah, not too complicated. Where do you get this one from, Nashies? Uh, no, this one came from uh, Clinton Hassan in our Tackle World. Tackle World. Okay, but yeah, check out your local tackle shop, they'll have these. Support the local guys. You won't find it at BCF. Also, I, 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 also a sponsor of uh, the Spanish Tackle Shootout, Tackle World. Yeah, good on them. So I put about four on there. Yeah. And one at a time, slip them over your hooks. So that one's painted red and white. Red Cornice. and white's a top mackerel colour. Working. So all we're doing is just uh, pre-rigging a few rigs here, getting ready for the, hopefully a hot bite a bit later on, so. So you don't put the hooks in at all, you just... No, don't need to. Plus the other thing is it's 20 knots out there, so <laughs> this makes life a bit easier. And you run mono leader, you said, Jason. 250 mono. Only good, good uh, rubber bands. Might need to double them up. Yeah, 250 pound mono rather than wire. Okay, well... Uh... Yeah, what, what I figure is, you got uh, 350 mil of wire right there. You always find your Spanish takes off a uh, wolf herring first, takes off his tail. They don't attack him head, uh, head first. So you, when you bring them up, you'll always find your trebles jam in the uh, side of the fish's mouth. Yeah. Okay. And this, this end doesn't need wire. Okay, we'll, we'll see what happens. Caught plenty. And that's it finished off. I've just put a couple of cable ties just to secure it. Uh, one through the tail there. In the tail there, yep. And uh, one through the eye and through the uh, rear ring there. Okay. Just holds it all together, hopefully. Yeah. The idea is you troll these at about one to two knots. Nice and slow, you can't drag them through the water at six knots. And uh, when you find your spool, you knock the... Uh, Knock the reel out of gear or knock the boat out of gear, sink it down. You don't have to get rid of the shoes later. And then uh, bring it up through the school, bait school or school of mackerel and they just can't resist. Alright. 8 inch long lollipop for Spanish mackerel. Thought I had a wolf herring on. Got smashed. And uh, yes, Seriously? the wolf has been seriously shortened. Seriously shortened. Oh, that happens. It does happen.